so looking at looking at innovation, you know, a lot of a lot of public services often take the rap for being archaic, yeah. bureaucratic, difficult to deal with. Mm-hmm. What particularly in in your ecosystem do you see as being uh, most necessary to create innovation around? Well, from my perspective, I think um, while I think that electronic communication is extremely beneficial, I do believe that there's still a place, especially in the legal field and in the practice of law and in the courts especially uh, for human interaction. So what, what we're starting to experiment with and see and think about and look at is the idea of maybe video conferencing. You know, sometimes um, a lawyer can't make it in for oral argument or something like that. Mm. And so instead of pushing the case off, which means it has to go for a whole other month before it can get to the, you know, to, to the next docket to be heard. No kidding. So we're, we're a month if you... Oh, yeah, no. I mean, our dockets are set up way in advance. So it's not like, in other words, I know what, what 10 cases I'm going to hear in a week. Yeah. I knew that two months ago. So I can't just slip one in there because it's all set up. So sure. it's arranged, you know, on a schedule and, and everything like that. So it's hard to, to throw one in, just like it's hard to pull one out. Because then where am I going to put it? It's got to go to... It's thrown way down the it, road. It could get thrown way down the road. We fixed that problem because I came up with a special setting system where if I've got a case that has to get pulled off of a docket, I can usually put it back onto a special docket that's mm. going to come up within a month. So I know it doesn't have to languish for three months to get on a, a, a new docket. So, you know, we, 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 we've worked through all of that to try to figure out ways to make sure that we're moving our caseload as rapidly as we can. Yeah. Um, at the same time, while we're trying to assist the lawyers when they have some problem that they're trying to resolve that they can't, you know, that, that requires them to have to bump oral argument for some reason. It, uh, it happens, you know. I mean, you know, sometimes people get sick. Sometimes uh, people, you know, I mean, we set the docket and then we send it to you. Sure. You may look at your calendar and say, my daughter's getting married in Tahiti that day, and I can't. And I've had that happen. No kidding. Oh, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I had a lawyer contact us and say, look, my daughter's getting married in Mexico that day. <laughs> Can, can I check? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a legitimately good reason. That's it.